What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Build Tune Race and tonight we're actually working on more of the brake system for the Camaro. I got the Willwood master cylinder here, some of the brake lines we've already opened up and started looking at everything, trying to plan out where we're headed with this deal, how we're going to make it work, how it bolts in the car, but really really nice from Willwood. It actually came with like front Camaro so it actually uses like the factory little mounts uh, to mount the lines to and everything with the clips. So pretty sweet deal there. And uh, I already started working on this template. So what I've done is I took some cardboard and then I kind of marked out some holes in the back and I'm starting to build this out here where that'll sit. And then from what I can tell, the new master cylinder will sit right at the top of this. I'll show you guys, but you guys can see that. So here's the master cylinder and then here's my template. It goes on the car something about like, it'd actually be like this. So then I believe that this is gonna sit right towards the top of this hole. So then you get this big hole that's left over. So I'm creating a plate that's going to kind of seal it back up. And I'm gonna use this piece of aluminum right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've kind of marked it out. It goes something about like that. And I went ahead and scribed it. So I'm gonna cut this plate out, lay it back in there, make sure it's right. And then I'll cut it. We'll drill some holes to mount it to the body. Probably tap those and then I'll drill pulls through here to mount the master cylinder to it. So actually we're probably gonna tap those ones. So then it holds the bolts tight. So then you can actually take the nuts off from the outside. So then you don't have to um, have two people to remove the master cylinder. AJ's over as well working on the hood kind of in the background over here. And man, I think it's coming out pretty sweet, huh? Whoa. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> totally different though. Yeah, no, it, we got all the holes filled up from the previous pin on deal. Now it's pretty good. We'll be close to being able to um, put the Zeus holes on there. So eventually we need to get this put on there. We need the intake tube and all of that stuff figured out. So hopefully I didn't just blind you guys with that light. And um, yeah, so working on a bunch of different things. We're kind of getting into that point now with the car being painted, engine in, it's all the little stuff like turbo kits done and all that, but yet we still need to do like the intake tube. And then we still got to modify like the water pump and then it's all in there wired and all that type of stuff so a bunch of little random stuff coming to you guys but we still got a few big things as well all right so i got the plate cut at least the outside border we'll probably put it back on there and now mark the holes and everything on this since everything kind of got scratched while it's moving around and then ray came over to help me with this we got two guys holding down the vise and then uh this tool's pretty cool and uh, helps I mean, I guess Ray can explain it a little bit better, but more or less, it does, what were you saying, the first and second? It does it, 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 the complete double flare. What it does, it turns the first one over a little bit, and then the second one you put in, it does the, the 45 degree, because you need a double flare on brake lines. Yeah. You just do a single, then it's real, it's real shallow, it's not real thin. Sure. Yeah. Takes a little pressure, and then... Oh shit. See, that's what it does first. Let me turn it to the secondary. Bam! It's just that easy. That's pretty cool. So, super helpful. Ray's been like following the bell and he watches everything and then he's like, what can I do to help? And I was like, actually, I know you got that handy dandy little uh, brake line tool, so if you come help me knock out some brake lines for this thing. I'd appreciate it. So he's came over tonight, helped me run the line down along the frame rails and all that stuff and working on mounting all this. So he's helping me plumb it and I appreciate that. So, so pretty cool. 280 bucks when he bought this thing. Okay. And it, it, it's handy. The only thing is, is if you're under a car, it don't work too good. You have to have something to hold it. Oh, yeah. sure. You know, it's just. Yeah, once you get to the end of the line, you pretty much have to do like by hand or whatever. Yeah. Or try to. Try to hold on to it. Or if you can take it off. Take it off. And take, take it off. It. Yeah. Do it and then put it back into place. Sure. On my Nova, I tried doing it by myself. <laughs> Not so good. I had no nothing under there except for the spring to clamp it to. Sure. But, but the tube wasn't long enough. So. Oh, yep. So yeah, you you have a few little strings, but uh, for the most part, it makes it pretty gosh dang easy. Oh, we're gonna waste it. So what we were looking at earlier is this is the factory mount, and here's one of the things that came with the Wilbur kit. So we're gonna start there and then work our way up to the front. Because I just wanna come off of here and do a 90. Sure. And then we'll roll it down. 
make it as short as I can. Yeah, just try to keep it tight, and then we're planning on probably coming out of these uh, out of the brakes here and putting a factory like type hard line, and then it'll have a soft line that comes over I to this have mount a tee here. We can mount here. Okay. Oh, kind of right close to the vent or whatever. Yeah. Perfect. Just like that. So Ray brought over these little speedway. You guys can see the part number there. Uh, they're little stainless clamps. So you're saying just probably drill and tap up into the tap floor? Yeah, tap. tap and it uses there. these little screws. The screws come with the kit too? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. There's a dozen in a pack. A dozen in a pack. Yeah, so see that's super nice and makes it a lot better than trying to zip tie your lines wherever or whatever we need to do. So just going to use those to hold the line up in there. We're about here with the line. We're just gonna run it right along the frame rail because it's kind of weird. The factory would have kind of, I think, went over a little bit and then across, but uh, with the new frame rail, we're just trying to follow it and go up and over, right through there. And then we'll end up coming up, reusing these stock mounts and then going up to the new uh, master cylinder. <laughs> and just like that, we got a brake line, ran it up, along, around. Not bad for a few minutes, all right? It's no show car, but it'll, it'll look like it, it, two minutes. <laughs> but it should stop the car. So we uh, ran it up here, used those nice mounts, and then we just got some excess line up there so we can work up top and get uh, get the master cylinder mounted, then we can get that line done. So I got my plate kind of built. I am going to have to probably notch the master cylinder a little bit to fit around the bolts for like the uh, stock Camaro. So that is real, real close. And then we got the line like you guys saw up to there. And then Ray's been looking at how to use the stock Camaro bracket, but we're gonna modify it and have it real clean there. But something I didn't think about that I think we're gonna add to this is a proportioning valve for front rear bias with little knob and stuff. You see that on a lot of race cars. So I need to actually get one of those coming. That is one thing that I don't have. So again, getting down to the little things where you think you got everything and then you start doing it, you're like, well, and we could easily probably skip that, but on a car that's gonna go as fast as this thing is and doing it right, we should probably get that coming. So we'll be back as soon as we get it. All right guys, so next day we're back over here working on everything some more. And Ray's, Ray's on the, what are you doing Ray? Howdy, got your line there? How's that looking? That's the one we're coming across the K member with? Yeah. So Ray actually kind of worked on, uh, we just modified the factory bracket here. So then it comes up to it and uh, Somehow it fishes up in there. Well, I gotta cut it off. I'm not really yeah, a little long on the one side yet. Anyhow, it goes up in there. Nice. So yeah, you guys around can see this, around this bar it connects to there. And it just snakes up through there yeah. on the K member, kind of like the factory one, just a little bit cleaner. So we got that going on. And then I also have my plate. We ended up figuring out we're just gonna countersink all these. Use countersink bolts. And then I can be flush, and now I still need to just drill and tap. I'm actually going to drill and tap all the way through, so the aluminum plate will be threaded, and the gas pedal mount will be threaded as well. So you guys can kind of see where I've drilled through it right there. And uh, so we're going to actually tap both of those. So then if you ever want to pull the brake mass cylinder off, you can. It'll hold itself on there, but you can also pull it off with one person. You don't have to have like one person in and out. That'd be a pain. So yeah, we're making some progress. Work on things, we got the brakes all finished up, show you guys what we got on the rear end. So we just finished up here. So we have it coming out of the calipers right there, goes up to a block there. This is a soft line out of the kit. And then we ran hard line to this T fitting and another hard line over across the top. You guys can kind of see it right there. Put a couple of these little mounts in like we did right here, but along the top of the housing and then over to this one. And then I'll go ahead and lower the car for you guys, show you what we finished up with with the proportioning valve. So here's everything plumbed up top. We ended up going ahead and running the proportioning valve just right under here. So you just gotta reach under to work it. Kinda hides it nice and clean underneath the master cylinder. This is the front line. This is the rear line, front, front, rear, rear. Uh, they're already kind of set up to a percentage front and rear. And then obviously the proportioning valve there. So it goes right down. We kept it tucked against the frame rail right there to keep it away from the header. Goes down to the T block there, goes over that side, and then over this side. And then that's the little mount we modified. Got everything tied in there. And then from here out, it's just this soft line again that then ties into the back of the caliper right 
there. So that'll be pretty easy to sum up once we get ready to, uh, you know, bleed everything. But otherwise, the brakes are pretty much plumbed and everything's good to go. Big thanks to Ray. Thanks, Ray. You're welcome. Got it. Fun time, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, I think that's it for the brakes on this thing. If you guys want to do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys next time.